Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a resin update and I have quite a bit of things to go through so let's just get started. So I made a few more of the metal charms again. So the first one is this little Mamagoma one and the background has some colorful kind of stars, um, glittery kind of confetti and then there's this little bow here as well and it is coated with resin. Then I have this kind of a sparrow flying into a sunset kind of thing because the gradient on the back is from black to blue to yellow and red and it's covered in resin as well, hopefully you can see that. And then I have these two um, Alice in Wonderland inspired ones. So first I have this one with a key and a card and then the second one is this one with a card and a flower and it is painted with some red glitter just like the queen said to paint the roses red then I also made another one of these charms in the silver frame and this one is a Kutusi Hanyanko one with a metal kind of music note um, charm and then there's some little stars and glitters and rhinestones in the background and then I made two of these ones so this is a metal charm with glitter in the middle, made just like um, these ones here, but then I just embedded it in resin with some um, holographic glitter in the background. And the second one is another Kutusi Tanyanka one, and I used these little um, silver wing charms as well, and then I embedded that in resin as well. So the next couple of charms I made were actually made in sort of a test kind of thing because I got uh, some packaging that I thought would make good molds. So I made these two little charms and one is the Rulakuma Honey sticker and it has gold glitter in the back. And then I made this stitch one with blue holographic glitter in the back. Or cellophane I should say. And I still have to finish the background because it's not perfectly polished, but these are just little containers that I found and I thought they would make nice molds for resin. Then I used a bowl mold to make this little bowl with sprinkles in it, and I put silver glitter on the back. Then I used a little gummy bear mold that I made um, from Amazing Old Putty, and so I filled it up with some resin and some sprinkles and I polished off the back so I still have to glaze that but it has a kind of a gold orangey glitter on the back then I made um, this little strawberry mold or a strawberry resin piece from a mold and at the end of the video I'll show you what I used the rest of these for I made these two little charms as well so one has a little um, ice cream and some sprinkles and a yellow and pink background and then this one is just this kind of a skull and it's kind of a holographic sticker and then it has pink and purple tinsel on the back and some glitter as well next I made these two tiny little uh, resin pieces one has the puffy bunny sticker and I put some kind of multicolored glitter on the background and then the second one is this little berry puppy one and that one has holographic and pink tinsel on the back next I made these two little panda pieces and then I polished them off and decided to stick them together because they didn't really come out the way I wanted them exactly but in the end I thought it, they were still really cute as well. anyway so I just decided to stick them together and I glazed them and I'm going to hang that on my cell phone. So there's this little panda face here and then just this panda here and they have light and dark tinsel in the backgrounds of both of these and then some micro marbles throughout. Next I have this piece here and it didn't come out the way I wanted it to because I spent about three hours watching it making sure that the stickers didn't float up and then they still did anyway. But I still think it kind of looks cool. It's kind of like the cupcakes are moving on to the background and then there's some sprinkles as well. And then I made this little Mamagoma heart and so it's a Mamagoma with strawberries and then a little cherry here. And in the background I actually mixed uh, two kinds of white glitter and then pink and red tinsel. 
and I'm going to use that as a deco piece. And then the last two charms that I made that I still have to um, dome over was one of this um, Real Coma Honey stickers as well. And so it has two kinds of yellow tinsel on the back and then goldish glitter mixed throughout. And then I also have this ice cream dessert kind of uh, sticker in this one. And it has some little heart uh, confettis on the back and then blue to purple gradient um, tinsel. And the last few things that I made are actually my favorite charms and then some new projects I've been working on. So the first one is this ice cream set. And it has three different ice creams, a little strawberry sticker there, and a heart-shaped uh, pearl um, rhinestone there. And then the background is a blue to pink to yellow to blue to pink glitter background with some sprinkles as well. And I think it turned out really, really nice and kind of, I don't know, like cottony looking. I really like it. Then I have this little stitch one. And so it's a holographic stitch uh, sticker, and then in the background there is some little stars there. Like in the Mamagoma piece, there's some purple tinsel on the bottom as well. And then I put some cellophane in there as well, and I have to still dome this one. And then I have this um, Sentimental Circus one, and I really do love the way this came out. So I just used one sticker inside, and then I did a light pink to darker pink to sort of like a purplish pink tinsel gradient background and I just think it really looks really cool from when you see it from the front and then one of my favorite charms that I made is this sentimental circus one here and I used a mold for this that I was actually a piece of packaging for something I can't remember what it was but it was this nice kind of rounded circular mold so I put a sticker in the middle and in the background I used some holographic glitter and then some mixes of glitters and pink tinsels and just um, really a mashup of the overall pink color. And I really do love the way this came out and I put a little eye pin in the top there. And then I also made this Hello Kitty one. And this again was from packaging that I got, um, I think little hair clips in or something like that. And it just came packaged in this Hello Kitty shaped piece of plastic. So I decided to use it as a resin mold. And so what I did was I just mixed some clear resin with uh, two kinds of white glitter. And as you can see on the side there, one is actually heavier than the other because you can see um, that they split. But I think it still looks cool anyway. And so what I did was I then covered the entire rim with silver rhinestones, I painted the eyes, I added some rhinestones for the nose, and then I used pink and red ones for the bow here that was already heart shaped. And then I covered that with resin and some glaze, but I have to glaze it again because there, as you can see there's some patchiness on it. So I will get that done, but I think it turned out nice overall anyway. And then I have some pieces that are kind of larger projects that I've been working on. So the first are a couple of tiles. So I made this mini mouse one. And it's kind of more like a coaster for your cup or something. So I put in these mini mouse stickers and there's like mini mouse, balloons, little butterflies and some flowers. And then the background is actually divided into three sections of a pale pink, a kind of bubblegum pink and a red tinsel. And then I just put some uh, polka dotted pink felt on the back so that it doesn't, like if you want to use it on a table, it won't scratch it or anything. The second one is this kind of Halloween themed one that I made and it's a blackish blue to blue to light blue gradient glitter on the back. And then it has these two ghost stickers on the top and a candy corn, a little gravestone and a pumpkin. And I put some orange felt on the back to kind of go with the whole Halloween theme as well. So it's just a little 2x2 um, two two inch tile that I made. And then I have a set of tiles. So the first one, the first big large tile that I've ever made is this Mamagoma one. And this one I think took about 10 days to complete because of how many layers there are inside. 
So I used these big puffy stickers to make it, and then some of the fish ones, some rhinestones, some little um, pearl kind of rhinestones here, and then just sprinkles and glitter, and actually I used real shells. I hope it'll focus, but you can see the little ones here and here and here. They're actually real tiny, tiny shells. And then I put some glitter um, on the sides as well, so you can't really see the way that the layers are spread out in the tile. But you can see that there's lots and lots of detail in this, and this is actually my favorite tile that I've ever made because it's just so cool. And it's a 4x4 four four inch tile, and then it just has some white felt on the background. And then I have a set of Tinkerbell themed ones. So the small 2 inch one is this one here, and it's just a single sticker of Tinkerbell. And then it has a gradient of white to pink to purple to blue glitter going along this way. And it has a light lilac felt on the back. Next I have the slightly larger one. And so there's a Tinkerbell sticker here. And then this kind of a flower and butterfly sticker here. And then these kind of like sparkle stickers there. And the gradient goes from blue to purple, to pink, to purple, to blue. And this one has a glitter white felt on the back. And then the last tile that I made is this larger 4x4 four four inch Tinkerbell one. And so there's a Tinkerbell sticker here, um, two hearts, a butterfly, a flower, and this little other flower here. And then the gradient on this one is a pink to purple to blue and it has um, holographic glitter and a little bit of uh, cellophane in the back as well just like these other two do as well and the background is a light kind of baby blue felt as well and so the last thing that I made is actually my favorite thing ever let me just move this out of the way and so what I did was I made my very first um, phone deco case. So this is my phone and I have just some sentimental circus, sentimental circus stickers there. Sorry. And so what I did was I bought a clear case for this model off, I think, eBay. Then I painted it white completely. And then I just took a sponge and some uh, yellow, orange, red and purple paint. And I just dabbed it along to make it kind of gradienty and pretty and everything. And then I made all these pieces here, so the cherry, the bow, the ramagoma, pineapple, strawberry, little heart, watermelon, orange, and lemon out of resin. And I painted them with lots of different glittery nail polishes, and I added rhinestones to the little indents in the strawberry. And then I just decorated the rest with like little pearls and rhinestones, and I put small silver rhinestones along the side of my buttons. So I really love how this turned out. I didn't think it was going to come out as cool as it did, but I do really love it. So let me know what you guys think about everything that I made. And if you'd like to purchase any of these, I will be listing them on my Etsy very soon. Um, so thank you for watching and have a nice day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!